YouTube, how is it going? So sometimes someone comes up with a, you know, some idea that's so absolutely stupid. You wonder why the hell they ever said anything in the first place. So the ESRB wants to verify your age with a facial scan. Now, if you're not a complete brain dead moron, you should know why this is a complete stupid idea. It's like those people who constantly go into those trends that involve like uh, swapping your face out for some sort of AR program, you know, like some dog or something, or look how you will look this old. It's like they're trying to scan your face. Why the hell would you allow this? And in this situation, <laughs> oh my god, like it's just like why? Like, yeah, let, let this uh, big company just, you know, the ESB, ESRB is run by the gaming industry, you know, the big, uh, the big publishers. So I know I'm stuttering in a lot of my words. It's just like, I can't understand who would think this is a good idea. It has been revealed that the ESRB, the Entertainment Software Radiance Board in the United States, wants to introduce a system that would allow users scan their faces using a mobile device to gain access to certain content such as mature games. Now, uh, would a parent ever, like, say, like, there are parents out there who allow their children to play mature games. My parents allowed me to play mature games at, when I was growing up. When we went to GameStop, they had to inform my parent about how this game includes this, this, and this on the ESRB later, uh, label. And if they say yes still, they have to sell them the product. They can't deny them the product as long as they provide them details about what the product is so say that a parent says hey i want my kid or i'm allowing my kid to play call of duty a mature rated game does that mean the kid has to scan his face i know that seems like a very obtuse thing to ask but given that this person even proposed something like this i have to ask that because it's not the parent that will be playing the game it's the kid so does the kid have to scan their face you see and i'm pretty sure any parent would be like i'm absolutely not gonna do that it, even if they didn't want to scan the kid's face, why would, as a parent, want your face scanned? Yeah, okay, just scan my face and put it into some sort of database. And I know, I haven't read this article yet, but I'm pretty sure they're going to say something down the line is, we are not saving your data. And yeah, right. Yeah, come on. It's a triple-head adventure from the ESRB, super awesome and epic games company, of course, and Yachty, a firm specializing in digital identity products. It gets better. <laughs> it's essentially put in a place blocker that aims to prevent young people from freely accessing mature games or potentially from playing any games at all unless their parent takes a picture of themselves first greenlit the session. So the parent will have to greenlit a green light every session. So one, kids will find a way to circumvent this. No matter what. When I was a kid, I found ways to circumvent the whole, you know, talking to my parents situation. I just became friends with the GameStop employee. And then eventually they started to sell me mature rated games because guess what? GameStop employees are treated like garbage and have to fiddle, fill a quota. And it doesn't matter if you're selling GTA to a 5-year-old or a 10-year-old kid. They have to make that quota. So... You know, just look the other way. There's a great YouTuber by the name of Camelot331 who goes into detail about GameStop and basically just confirms everything that you already knew was going behind the scenes. Regardless, like what? Like again, kids are going to find a way to circumvent it. You're going to find a kid who's just going to take a picture of their parent or use an AI program to simulate their parent because that's becoming more prevalent and just be like, hold up the picture, hold up the phone <laughs> to the webcam and just be like, yeah, this is my parent. Because let's face it, no human is going to val uh, validate any of this. They're not. Like, look at how Google operates. I've been demonetized by my other channel as of today, again, by for reused content. 100% it's a bot or some sort of mass uh, flagger who's just trying to get my channel kicked off. And if a, a company like Google is using automation that's this faulty, imagine what the ESRB is going to be like. Give me your face. <laughs> The new, this new endeavor was revealed through a letter sent to the FTC by the ESRB. Oh my fucking god. Why? Uh, like, you guys just lost the case between Microsoft acquiring uh, Activision Blizzard. What the fuck? <laughs> the FTC is run by the government. Why the hell would you want that? 
Yeah, yeah, I, I would love the FTC to scan my face. <laughs> Outlining the application to approve the verifiable parent control uh, consent method. Of course, it has some BS statement like that. It was a lengthy 38-page document that went into depth. You could imagine to a tentacle specification of the entire end-to-end -end process, but it's also clear up a few details. All image images taken are instantly and permanently deleted and not stored in Yachty's backend. That is a fucking lie. I do not believe that for a second. Like, no. If you're scanning someone's face, that is like ideal advertisement marketing stuff that you can sell to third-party advertisers. There's no way they would like leave that golden goose not uh, attended for. There is no risk to privacy. Apparently, the images aren't even translated in a conventional state. They're converted into an algorithm into a series of numbers that are identified by facial recognition engine to determine if the user will be approved or not. Look, I'm not a computer engineer, but that still sounds like bullshit to me. I'm just going to state it for what it is. You expect me to believe, like, the government, the FTC is not going to take a record of every one of their citizens do a image uh, software like this you expect me to believe that yeah no <laughs> at this stage i i, I know people are going to use the default argument i'm going to add this here that F, like a uh, google facebook or uh, meta uh, all these companies already do this to a degree they have a digital profile and fingerprint of your identification but this is just another layer like why would you willingly accept this because there's still terms of agreement that you agreed to when it comes to this stuff so if you agree to this stuff, it's going to be like that South Park episode. Granted, uh, there's this great uh, YouTuber named Legal Eagle. He was an actual lawyer. And I forgot where he stated this, but it was one of his videos where he stated, even if a terms of service is lengthy and you don't read through it, they're supposed to be designed that even the average person can understand them. So if you go to court and you say, yeah, he agreed to the terms of service, it doesn't mean that they have an end all agreement to do whatever the hell they want, like turn you into a human centipede. You can simply say, this thing was so long, I'm not going to read through all of this. I didn't know they were going to do that. There are basic common sense, like the law doesn't work like it does in television where, you know, in Parks and Recreation where Ron Swanson comes to, I forgot what his name was, uh, Leslie Nope's husband, Ben, oh, it's Ben, and comes with like, this is a footnote to a footnote to a footnote. No, it doesn't work that way. He said it is more or less common sense. Like, no judge is going to take it seriously. If you come with thousands of documents that have a footnote to a footnote to a footnote, they're going to be like, no one is going to read through all this. You obviously wanted to, like, mislead this person. So, I'm just saying, like, there's not going to be a secret hidden agenda in the sense that it's going to have, like, we have all access to your face now. It's going to be still, but still, like, having a computer database that takes your photo in any regard is still alarming. At this stage, the FTC is seeking feedback from the public to determine whether or not to proceed with further examination of the application. This period will last until 21st of August. Yeah, I don't think anyone with uh, common sense, even people who are just ultra paranoid, are going to agree to this. So, yeah, this is incredibly stupid. No one is going to agree to doing something like this. And I almost guarantee publishers are also not going to agree to this because they know that customers are going to say no. You want my face in order to play Call of Duty or GTA? Why the hell would I ever agree to that? And it doesn't matter how many times you say that we're not storing that data. The fact is, you're still taking a 3D recognition of my face. I, I, I don't care. I'm not doing that. But tell me what you think about this. Do you think that I'm just being paranoid? I'd love to hear other people's opinions. You can read the article for yourself. Link below. And that's it for me. If you want to support, join button. Super thanks. Trying to reach a thousand subs for advertisers, but that's up to you. Anyway, uh, that's me. Bye.